all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you uh, today we will respond to this uh, poor Muslim who he think he have knowledge and he is supposedly uh, trying to expose the Bible of Allah um, this is the Abdul I'm not going to waste time please after we finish don't forget to download the video share it everywhere and let everybody laugh at this fool this is why and today you will see why those cowards don't dare to call me and debate me if this guy he this guy he speak Arabic supposedly as they told me he speak English and he speak German so what is holding you from speaking to me uh, as long as you don't agree with us what about you get us busted life and if you don't like to call me I will call you you can call me in my Skype and I can call you on your Skype it's very simple it's very easy it doesn't cost you money but the reason you will not call me is very well known you don't dare as simple as that uh, otherwise why uh, why you will not do so I don't see any reason uh, as long as you have a knowledge and you can prove yourself and here we go this is my Skype appearance screen anytime feel free anytime I am on air feel free to call me and don't hesitate and you can bring with you your mommy your daddy all those who you think they can support you because I'm telling you you will need a lot of support and today we are going to give you a little idea about what happened to those who challenged Christian Prince. So let us see and watch together this Abdul. He will speak German, but don't worry. Uh, I don't speak German, by the way. But uh, from the quotation in the screen, we will know what he's talking about. Alisa, this is a prophet. Zweiter König, 223. And he went from there hinauf nach Bethel, wie er um den Weg hinauf ging kamen kleine Junge, haben die das hier verändert? Früher war kleine Kinder, haben die das verändert? Weil hört, was passiert, das ausgelachte Propheten. Aus dem Staat heraus und verspottet ihm, lachen die dem Prophet. Was haben die gesagt, das kleine Kinder? Und sagten zu ihm, komm herauf, Kerlkopf, klatscher Mann. Komm herauf, Kerlkopf. Was passiert? Diese Prophet, aber er wandelt sich, der Prophet, gell, um Sah sie an und verflucht sie im Namen denn hier, deinen hier. Wer ist denn hier? Jesus. Schau, Jesus, was hat gemacht, hat ihm geholfen. Da kamen zwei Bären, Bären, aus dem Wald und zerrissen 42 Kinder. Weil die ausgelacht kleine Kinder ausgelacht am Prophet. <laughs> Just to show you how full this guy is. Simply, he is quoting from Second King, where it says that a bunch of uh, 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 kids they were making fun uh, of a, of a prophet, and then a beast came from the wood and he, he killed them all. Uh, and he is saying, "What is that? I mean, what is that? Let me show everybody how stupid you are." And thank you for making a comment about this. Uh, you know, when a, when a Muslim he speak about the Bible, not only he show that he is stupid and ignorant about our book, he shows clearly that he is stupid and ignorant about his book. Because there is no way this guy, if he knew what he is talking about, he will even open that topic because this topic is going to be very ugly if we show it based on Islam. Let us see what Islam says about a very similar story and now if he is really a person of dignity as long as this is a shameful story for you I want you to say the same for your prophet when your prophet was reciting the chapter of an Najm his cousin he said I don't believe I an a kafir an akfaru bi rabbin najm your prophet he said aren't you afraid that Allah will send his dog to eat you what will eat him? What what? Not a bear, a dog. In, in the movie, you have a you have a bear. So here we need we need to correct it. Ah, Bären aus dem Wald und zerrissen 42 Kinder. <laughs> so this is the cousin of your prophet, and Allah He sent His dog to eat him. And now let us show you the reference, so people will not say we are making things up. This is a chapter 53. This is verse number one. And this is the false Muslim translation where they hear they say that 
Allah he sent uh, the Prophet he invoke his God to send his beast to eat his cousin so he says oh Allah because the guy he said he told Muhammad I don't believe in the in the Lord of the star obviously we're prophet be you know he's worshiping stars otherwise who is the Lord of the stars so your your prophet he said oh Allah set and on, on him your dog not your beast and we will show you that and then Allah later he set on him a lion near Haran that snatched him from among the friends and took him to a place nearby and he tore him apart from the head to the toe but he did not eat him because he is najis <laughs> this is not halal food <laughs> This is you are making fun of the Bible about that story and saying this is disgusting or stupid, but look what your prophet doing here. <laughs> hmm? Not only that, if we go to the Arabic, let us switch to Arabic, and you will see right away how the Arabic change from English to Arabic. In Arabic, it says it clearly that this is the dog of Allah. We go with the first interpretation, go in my way. It doesn't matter which one, at tabari which is the year 310 after your prophet Muhammad, the false prophet. So you will see here, and read with me carefully. It says, Aren't you scared that the dog of Allah will eat you? The dog of Allah will eat him. Your God, Allah, he has a dog. And he eat the one who don't believe in him. Now I want to ask you, as long as your God Allah eat dog, eat people who don't believe in him, why don't he don't eat me? Hmm? Maybe the dog of Allah in vacation these days? And by the way, if you think I'm making things up, you know, uh, uh, let me let me go and uh, put Google translation, hold on. So the Muslim, they will not say uh, Christian Prince is giving his own false translation. Give me a second. I will open Google Translation. You know, this is what happened like uh, when you have to show text uh, in Arabic. Now, for sure, uh, uh, Google Translation will not be very much accurate, but it's better than nothing. Um, so here, we will copy and paste in the front of you. Here we go. Utbah, he said to him, I am. I became a kafir in the Lord of the star. The messenger of Allah said to him, aren't you afraid that dog of Allah will eat you? So he went in a trade to Yemen. And then when he was in, he, in there, he heard the sound of a, a lion. So it's a dog, but have a sound of a lion. <laughs> Let us copy and paste and see together what the translation will give us. Whatever it is, we will take it as it is. Here we go. And in front of your eyes, copy. Oh, sorry, paste. Oh, we will go to German. We'll go to German, German. Where is the German, German, German? Here we go. All right. I don't know really what the German's saying here. You tell me, guys, if it's correct or not. As for me, it looked very short, but I don't know. If, uh, you tell me. Anyone speak German there? Does it say that the dog of Allah ate him in German? Who speak German? Does it uh, does it say that uh, the dog of Allah ate him? Is the translation coming close? I cannot really say how accurate it is. It says that. Okay, so you see, we copy paste as you see it in the front of you. The guy he said, "I will not believe in Allah," and then your prophet he invoked his God Allah, and then Allah he sent his dog. <laughs> And he ate him and for sure this is must be a true story and the proof that your God Allah he sent his dog to eat anyone don't believe in him including me oh, something something you biting me my foot my foot <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> uh, all right all right all right all right let it go let it go we go back, we go back to the Abdu. We go back to the Abdu. So the Abdul here, he is quoting for us supposedly 
uh, verses from the Bible to discredit uh, 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 the Bible. Now we move. I'm not going to listen to all his uh, uh, garbage, especially I don't understand even what he's saying. And uh, uh, for me, too bad I could not find one person to translate for me. Everybody is asleep in Germany now. Fear. Kapitel Vers 12. Zeit zu Zeit solltest du trinken und wie gestern Brot fladen. Kannst du fladen Brot? Du kannst du fladen Brot? Solltest du es essen und du solltest du sie miss, nicht fladen. Aus dem Menschen Code. Was was sagt Menschen Code? Kacke. Du musst diese Brot mit Code mit Kacke der Menschen essen. You are a big fat liar like your prophet. There's nowhere here it says you will eat the caca. You are a caca like you're a prophet. What what the, this is in uh, in Ezekiel 4. He is saying that the Bible says you will eat your caca. You are a big fat liar and this is why we don't respect Islam. Because if Islam is a good religion, we we'll teach you at least to be honest and not to fabricate things it it's not there. If we go to Ezekiel 4, we will find the following and everybody will laugh at you. You are certified potato. Let us go there. Hold on. Let us open the verses. <laughs> caca. <laughs> you will eat caca. <laughs> but I will show you in a second who eat caca. It's not us, my friend. It's not us. And not only that, I will get you busted even from your own books. Hold on. This is Ezekiel number four, and he is quoting for us that you will eat your caca. And then he says to me, I have indeed a cow, cow's dung for a man, dung, and shall prepare their bread therewith. What they will do, they will use the defect, the thesis of the animals to cook in it as a fuel, your donkey, as a fuel. They will not eat it. You are a liar and you are a certified liar. Anyone can go right now and search, and you will see that they will they are they will eat bread. And not only that, I will get you busted. The Jews not only don't allow them to touch poop, you're a prophet himself, he said. That the Jews believe if a piss or poop touch them, they will be tortured in the grave to the point if a piss touch their skin they will cut off the skin and let me show you the hadith and let your prophet get you busted so we go to the hadith we will find this and this is where your prophet was copying his madness from a jewish woman she was you know this is this is something the jews they say uh, uh in in their in their uh, uh, uh they have some false books uh, have some stories where if you uh, if you have some uh, piss on you uh, you know, you will be tortured in the grave. And look what it says. So how they want to eat piss, you liar, if you're a prophet agree uh, that the Jews, if it touched their skin, they even cut their skin. Read carefully with me. A Jewish woman entered up into me and said, the torment of the grave because of the urine. I said you are lying, which means Aisha, she never heard this from her prophet. From her husband, the, the self-acclaimed prophet. So the woman, she said, it after she said to her, uh, after I, she said to her, "You are lying." The woman, the Jewish woman, she said to her, "It is true. We cut our skin and our clothes because of it. So if if a pee or a piss or a poop touch their clothes or skin, they cut the skin. Imagine this is how we clean the Jews. Now." Here you will notice Muhammad, by the way, this is the first time he hear about this story about the punishment of the grave because of piss. Actually, she said, you are lying to the Jews, which means Muhammad, he never said that in front of her because simply he never heard of it before. So Muhammad, when he came, he asked Aisha, what the problem? She said to him what the woman she told her. And then, uh, uh, he, you know, it says here, the messenger of Allah went out to pray and our voices became loud he said what is this so i told him what she had said uh, he said she spoke the truth after that day he never offered any prayer but he said following prayer 
that may Allah I seek burden from punishment of the grave so uh, uh, so Muhammad never never before pray seeking refuge against the punishment of the grave but since he heard that from a Jewish woman Muhammad he adopted the story and he liked it so how you like your followers you say is that they are going to eat poop if they are going to cut their skin if it's touched them you are a liar like your prophet now uh, until now in the Middle East for this donkey until now in the Middle East they use this to cook in it not only in the Middle East and, and specifically Islamic countries by the way and in India and in, in Africa in many places so they they collect the the uh, uh, the dirt uh, from the, the cows or etc and then it is they use it as a fuel and actually if you never see this fuel before it's it's a blazing fuel it's very strong very powerful and I will show you that you Muslims not only use it to cook in it but there's tons of fatwa saying the following and let us show you some you ask for it so let us have fun you get what you ask for all right you get what you ask for Oh, the link is not opening. Okay, hold on. Fatwa. Is it allowed to use the dunk of the animals? And what website we are going to open? Fatwa Islam dot web Islam web net dot net. You see it? Do you see it, Abdul? Are we allowed to use the, the dunk, the caca, the caca of the cows or the animals to cook in it? The answer, yes. Not only yes, I have a surprise for you. Translation, we take it to English. I mean, we take it to the German translation. Here we go. So the question is, can specifically for the bread, and as you see there, it's speaking about the bread too. So can we use this for bread? The answer, yes, absolutely. So how you are making fun of this? You, pro you when you, your prophet allowed it, your scholar allowed it, and not only that. Look, it says, according to your prophet. Peace is halal it is not najis isn't it your prophet who said that you drink camel urine let us translate first the the, the uh, uh uh the answer this is the answer copy paste so he will not say okay we saw the question but we did not say the show the answer so the answer yes you can use the poop to cook in it and you're a prophet he claimed that the poop of any animals we eat it is pure this is why you're a prophet he order you Muslims to drink camel urine so how you make fun how you make fun of the Bible saying that you will cook, you will bake your bread over the feces of the animals when you're a prophet, he order you to drink camel urine. Urine is nothing but feces. The shit is the is the is, is the hard one, the, the, the urine is the is the liquid one, it's the same. Here we see the stupidity and we see the madness. They have no dignity. Now, as long as we mention this, uh, uh, we have to mention some stuff about, about this issue.
Let us see some hadith. Do you see your prophet? He is ordering his men to drink the camel urine. So you are upset from the caca, but you are not upset. There they will not eat the caca, you liar. Here you are eating the caca. You are drinking it. It's your juice. It is your juice. And by the way, here the hadith shown us how evil Muhammad is because here the story is about a, a bunch of people. Anyone convert to Islam, Muhammad, you order him to drink camel urine and uh, because this is his favorite drink and, and uh, camel milk, as you see. Read in front of you, your eyes. Okay? So he ordered uh, to follow the shepherd, i.e. Uh, his camels, and drink their milk and their urine. And look here between two brackets, they say as medicine. <laughs> Why you buy antibiotic? Huh? Why you go to pharmacies? Why you Muslim go to doctor? Drink camel urine. Medicine, huh? what, a, what a bunch of liars. And here you will see that those guys, they left Islam and later Muhammad, he, he put nails in their eyes. Okay? So those guys, they, they went and they do what all the Muslims they do. They drink the milk and drink the urine uh, until their body became healthy. <laughs> then they killed the shepherd. And then they drove away and then the prophet he brought brought them and then he cut their feet and their hands and then he put nails in their eyes he put hot nails hot nails in the fires and he put them in their eyes heated prices of iron you see it this is how evil Muhammad is because if those people they kill somebody you kill them you don't torture this is torture he cut their hand he crucified them he cut their feet and after that before they die he want to be sure that he want to hurt them more he put nails in the fire look how evil he is go and watch any horror movie and you will see muhammad right in the front of your face now we are not done not only the prophet he uh, 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 order muslim to drink camel urine and drink piss uh, the prophet and the Muslims have no problem even with dogs to piss in their mosque uh, Let me uh, uh, let me see uh, Where I can find the hadith Oh hold on if before we go there, let me show you this one The Muslim now they have articles about the benefit of, of a drinking piss, the benefit of a drinking camel urine, the benefit of a drinking caca. I hope you can provide us uh, 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 with scientific answer if such a knowledge is available above the, the Sahih Hadith that about drinking camel urine. May Allah reward you. And here the guy he called the hadith and he said yes this is sahih and then he explained to you how wonderful it is to drink camel urine so you muslims drink caca we don't you drink it and you eat it what else uh There's many hadith about your prophet, the Muslims drinking his piss. سمعت بحديث نبوي غريب وهو أن صحابيا شرب دم أو بول النبي عليه السلام فهل هو صحيح? I heard hadith is about that uh, some of the companions of the prophet they drank the blood of the prophet and they drank his piss do you see it and then they quote for you the hadith one by one so when you talk about drinking caca and drinking poo poo and eating poo poo first of all don't lie it is you who do that now as long as the animal's caca is dirty why your prophet he wash with it 
But before we go there, the Muslims even they used to fight over the snots of his prophet. The dirt which is coming from the nose. Do you know what the snot is? If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. And by the way, the Muslims here, they have a false translation of the hadith. They don't say it's a snot. Uh, as usual. Read carefully. By Allah, whenever Allah Messenger, not spot, this is not spot, he clean his nose from his boogers and from the snot, and he throw it away, would fall in the hand of one of them, i.e. the prophet companion, who would drop it on his face and the skin. Do you see it? Now, just to show you that the word here in Arabic, it is what I am saying. It is not what they're translating that this is a spat. This is not a spit. This is not a spit. This is Nukhama. Let me show you what Nukhama means. Here we go. This is the word in Arabic. Okay. It says, Wallah, in Tanakhama Nukhama, illa waqa'at fi kafir rajul. I'm going to copy the word Nukhama here, the same word, and I will paste in the search engine. And right away, you will see how the translation changed. Why? Because the Muslim here, they are trying to make it look nicer. The Muslims are not fighting over the boogers of the Prophet and wiping it over their faces. And not only the, you know, like the liquid and the, and the nose, this is not a spot. Here, if we go in the, in the search engine, I will post the word Nukhama. Here we go. Copy, paste. Nukhama. And here we go. This is the translation of Nukhama as you see in the front of your eyes. It is septum sticking in the wall. People they used to, to, to throw their boogers on the wall of the Prophet. Uh, uh, actually, here they are not even, you see, it says here, Al Qibla Mukhatan, or Buzakan, or Nukhama. They are, they, they, he saw a, a spittle. Or a snot or a septum. Do you see it? So the Muslims are fighting over this and they wipe their face with it. And you are complaining that the Bible says that those people they will cook, use the feces of the animals as a fuel. What a shame for religion. Do you see it? This is what Nukhama mean. So here we see the hypocrisy of the Abdul and the double standard as usual, but nothing, I mean, nothing new. This is very normal. I am not, I'm not really surprised. I never saw Abdul is honest. And they are the same as before. Nothing will change. Now, again, as long we are talking about this, and as long about talking about caca do you know that you muslims not only you eat the caca of the animals you have sex with them and that will not disturb your hajj will not what disturb your hajj and let me show you the reference so you don't say because you are complaining about the caca of the animals right yeah, i wish it stays with the caca Look what the hadith is saying. Value number two. And he if if he if an animal his hajj is his is still lawful. <laughs> so not only you drink camel urine, not only you drink camel piss. Not only you drink uh, 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 animal uh, animal feces, but you f them, and then that will not destroy your Hajj. And not only that, by the way, according to the most Sunni sect, if you have sex, they say to you, there's a hadith. If you have sex with an animal, you will be killed. Look what it says: that most most of uh, 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 you know uh, uh, a, a Sunni sect. They don't even have a head. There's no punishment if somebody did have intercourse with an animal. And you know what? As long as I mention this, I better show the reference so the Muslim will not say I'm making things up. 
you know them I mean you know right if you say something you better prove it otherwise don't mention it the book of al muni value number three hadith number two three eight seven it says I'm not going to translate the whole thing but look it says woman what a أن الحج لا يفسد به وهو قول مالك وأبو حنيفة لأنه لا يوجب الحد. Uh, let us copy and translate. Copy and translate. I don't know how the translation will come in uh, in the in the Google German, but we will give it a try. Does it say, guys, if you have sex with an animal that will not uh, will not damage your hajj? Does it say that in in German? Anyone can tell me. Does it say that? Does it say that? Please confirm to me because I don't know what it says in German here. Those who speak German, if you don't mind. Does it say if you have sex in the hedge with an animal, that will not destroy your hedge? Does it say that? Who is a German can confirm? No German there? It says that. Okay, that's good. Because I'm not sure what it says there. This is, uh, I mean, this is a translation. I have no idea what it says. But as you see, if you have sex and the Maliki and Al Hanafi, those are two major Islamic sect, Sunni, the, the Muslim Sunni sect are four. So Al Maliki and Al Hanafi, and I'm sure this guy is a Hanafi, they believe that if you F a goat or a donkey during the Hajj, it's okay and your hajj is still accepted by Allah in the top of that there is no punishment whatsoever for doing such a so all right now let us continue we are not done yet if you think we are done you are mistaken my friend uh, you're a prophet not only he order you to drink camel urine and camel poop and then we find him uh, uh, himself swimming and taking shower with dead animals, dead dogs and women of blood from period, including the caca. Read carefully with me. I heard the people ask the Prophet of Allah, "Where it is, water is brought for you from well of Bida? It is the well which the dead dogs and minstrel clothed." An ex experiment of people throwing garbage. So what is there? There's dead dogs, women of blood from period. They have their, you know, they have like a diaper in the old days. They put a fabric in their private part to suck the blood. So and garbage and all of this. And Muhammad is is doing what? He is a drinking from it. It says yustaqa laka. Read carefully. Innahu yustaqa laka. What yustaqa mean? Yustaqa mean. They give you a drink. Yustakalaka. So you're a prophet drinking from this well, which is the, uh, it says here. I'm going to take as it is and translate in German. All right. Let us see. Whatever it says in German, we will take it. And then your prophet he says, Oh, don't worry. The water is always pure and nothing. Make it any pure. Copy as you see in front of your eyes. Okay. Copy paste we go to Google all right read carefully so you're a prophet the one who is upset from the caca which they don't even eat it they cook in it you know and this is very normal until now you're a prophet he have no problem even to drink from it and not only that you're a prophet he shower with it he shower with it now we go and we check another hadith. Let us see. And your prophet, he claimed that water is always pure. And this is a very small, tiny water where Muhammad, he is doing all of this. Read carefully. And all, by the way, all of this hadith is sahih. So if this guy, Abdu, want to say this hadith here is not sahih, here we go, bingo. It is sahih, my friend. Do you see it? So don't play the game of sahih and weak. Here we get you busted, Abdul. This is a Christian prince. Don't play games with him. You will be sorry. All right. 
so here we go your prophet he is taking a pollution he is taking a shower performing evolution to get to get ready to, to be pure in front of Allah what he do he wash himself with water have ministration rags flesh of dogs and garbage and even it says it stink and yet he says that the water is pure and nothing make it impure do you see my friend what we are talking about so why the Muslims they lie why they fabricate why they don't have the dignity of honesty why you lie about the Bible when it's you who do that, not us? Read this one. And again, this is Sahih. I passed by the Prophet of Allah and he was performing wudu from the will of Bida'ah. I said, are you performing wudu when garbage is thrown in it? What is inside the well? Garbage. All right, this is the same well. And then not only that, he says, not only but the, actually, the fact that the safe there's a safe in garbage, it says and netting, which means the stinky, stinky, it's stinky, huh? And netting. And hold on, this guy he will say this is weak. No, this is sahih. Read it. This is sahih. Don't play the game of sahih and weak again, Abdul. Here we spank you. Your bum is already red. Shall we continue? Hmm? Shall we continue? So as you see. You Muslims, you all do all those things. You claim that we are the one who do it, but in fact, it is you who do it. All right. Now, uh, there's a hadith. I am not sure if, if I should show it to you because you know maybe this is not good for your age. But let me show you the dignity of Islam at, as a, as an end for this video. This is a Muslim website, and supposedly they made an article to prove me wrong. <clears throat> And in the article, they say, answering the liar Christian prince. Answering what? The liar Christian prince. You see it? Christian prince claim that your prophet have sex with an animal. All right. Let us go down. And this is supposedly a note from Osama Abdullah. <laughs> this, is the web this is the translation approved by them, posted by them in their website. So you cannot say to me, I have a wrong translation. Look what the hadith, I'm not going to read the whole hadith for you. Look what it says here. All right. This is, a, this is, a, this is the, the guy who is upset from the kaka. It says, this is a hadith speaking, supposedly the interpretation here, about if you have sex, you have to wash. But look what it says. If a woman, if you, if you penetrated your, your penis inside a woman anus, or a man anus, or an animal anus, or an animal vagina or it is anus then it is necessarily for you to wash have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this imagine imagine if Paul he made such a statement what the Muslims would do what the Muslims will say our companion has said if the penal head has a penetrated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina or it is anus it is necessarily to wash whether it is being penetrated alive or dead young or old and you are complaining about the bible saying that they will cook using fuel as caca my friend your cult is the most disgusting stupid cult and I hope that you, Abdul, today, you got a good spank. Don't ever, and you are supposed to, I heard that you are insulting me in the video. Don't ever try, my friend. I am a Christian prince. And I challenge you at the end of this video. If you are a man, but you are not, you are a caca. If you are a man, I challenge you to accept, to let me call you. You don't want to call me, you are the big guy, huh? Or if you are so small, so tiny, I will crush you. I will make you shish kebab. And actually, I did even before I start debating you. You are just a kid, long beard, but your beard is my broom. I clean the floor with it. It's useless. It's, it's nothing. You can grow your beard as much as you want. You can wear a shirt to, to promote your channel, but you are no one and you have no knowledge. You made fun of something in your religion, and you are stupid and you have no idea what are you talking about 
now I will give you a chance to prove yourself to be a man in the front of the Muslims maybe one of them or four of them they will marry you so you can have five some be a man and accept to debate me be a man and say I would debate a Christian Prince be a man once in your lifetime and give me a call or give me your Skype I will call you be a man are you and this is a challenge for all the Muslims in Germany in anywhere they speak whatever languages by the way this guy he speak English so have he have no excuse so let us see if he is the man please download this video share it everywhere and I hope today we have a, 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 a I can continue by the way until tomorrow showing you more and more and more reference but there's no point I mean just we this guy his bum is already going to be red and the Muslims will laugh at him and the German people will laugh at him and now let us see how what he made fun of and by the way he spoke about the, the, those children who were killed because they made fun of the Prophet if you go uh, I just remember this one before I finish if you go in the Quran uh, uh, in chapter 18 verse number uh, uh, 74 you will see a child who the Prophet al Khudr who he just suspect that when he grow he is going to be uh, disrespectful to his parents so what he did to him he slaughtered him he slew him and he smashed his head in the floor he because he was disrespectful to his family so if you are making fun of that verse my friend obviously you do not know what is written in your book for you are a certified donkey because I am sure if you know what is in your book you will not even mention this read carefully with me Abdul so everybody can laugh at you the one who claim knowledge your beard is long but your tail is longer so after they said chapter 18 verse number 74 tafsir al jalalain this is not tafsir a Christian prince so shut up and don't tell me I'm lying I know what you are saying to people in, in the text now so they set off leaving the ship making their way in the foot until they met a boy he is a boy who had not yet reached the puberty playing with other boys among whom his face was fairest al khadr he slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he is laying down or by tearing his head off with his hand or by smashing his head against the wall all or wall of which are different opinion like how he killed him look i'm the muslims now come like we don't know exactly he smashed his head he cut and why he did that because simply he this guy he this kid uh, uh he is going to be disrespectful to his family so the uh, uh the prophet al khadr he was inspired by allah to kill this boy so why you are complaining you see, I'm showing you verse by verse. This is the interpretation. And here he's explaining why he did all what he did one by one. And then he arrived in verse number 80 and he says why he slaughtered the boy. Read with me carefully and laugh. And as for the boy, his parents were believers and we feared that list should overwhelm them. In insolence and disbelief, he will be a bad boy. He will disgrace his family. He will disrespect his parents. So what we do? We slaughter him. We kill him. We smash his head. So before you talk about what is somebody book without understanding, Abdul, read your book and let everybody laugh at you. You are nothing but a potato. And today, I did fry you. So enjoy the fry, and don't forget to praise Allah. For the fry because by the help of Allah we fry you without oil and now you will suffer with the consequence of people laughing at you for what you said I will be waiting for you for the coming 1,000 year to say I accept to challenge you but I'm very sure you will never this do 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 ever even dare to say so you know that and everybody know that and if you think he will debate me make a bet let us see if this potato he ever have the courage to say I am going to debate a Christian Prince but all of us we knew that this will not happen they attack me from behind the walls and the curtains and the funny they say Christian Prince is not showing his face but his God he say in the Quran 
that Allah he never show his face he always speak speak from behind the veil the God behind the veil so why you want to see my face I am your God Allah worship me at least I am not stupid and I don't promise you virgins I'm not a pimp who promise your vagina at least I am not hypocrite like your prophet who say something do something else I am better than your God but for sure I don't mean anyone to worship me I'm just making fun of the stupidity of this cult thank you guys for listening and uh, this guy as you see he is wearing a, sh a shirt it's called fitra it is not a fitra my friend you are a faqara and we dismantle you which mean you became pieces thank you very much may the lord bless you and see you soon again bye bye and this christian prince right with you thank you